Hey guys, it's Russ from Polygon. We are here with Sean, who's going to show us Dyad, this very cool PSN game. There's a lot to take in about Dyad, but Sean is going to walk us through all the details so we'll understand what the hell is going on. It is kind of crazy to look at. Take it away, Sean. Right, so yeah, Dyad, it gets pretty intense towards the end, but at the start, you know, it's a very easy, digestible game, and there's a logical, like, linear progression through all the ideas. So there's 27 levels. Every level introduces one new mechanic, or every level or two introduces one new mechanic. So by the end of it, you're doing, like, a million things, but at the start of it, it's actually quite simple. So the game starts off very simple. You try, there's a tube and you try to line up behind enemies in the tube and hook onto them to sort of like pull yourself forward as though like a grappling hook. Then the next mechanic is you try to do that with pairs of enemies, right? So there's two different colors of enemies. Uh, it starts off with orange and blue and you grappling hook onto an orange and you grappling hook onto another orange and you go really fast forward, right? Really straightforward at the start. Then um, collision gets introduced and it works out that the enemies that are that you're using for speed are also the only way that you can go backwards and slow down. So you have to go behind an enemy, hook onto it, dodge it, hook onto another one of the same color, dodge that, and then so there's a lot of like weaving in and out through the tube. Then it, you start getting like this other mechanic called grazing, and grazing works by you hook onto an enemy and it draws a circle around it, and you go through that circle trying to get close to the enemy but not touching it, and that gives you energy. Energy then that's trans uh, you can use as a lance shot, which is like your primary weapon in the game, and that shoots you forward really, really fast in a straight line, and a whole bunch of you know musical effects happen and visual effects happen, and it looks really cool. And you shoot yourself forward, and now you're trying to run into enemies as many as possible because every time you kill an enemy with your lance shot, um, it makes the lance shot longer, right? So if you can find like a line of 10 or 12 enemies, you can go super, super fast through it. Then after that, there's some more mechanics that get introduced. Like there's some different play, uh, different takes on like those mechanics, right? So there's like a survival horror level and like a race level and things like that. But you know, by level 12, what happens is instead of hooking pairs to get a speed boost, as you hook pairs, it draws a line between them. It's called a zip line, and it's like a like a track that you ride on, and you get really really fast on it, right? So the game becomes less about hooking pairs for speed. Now it's about hooking like one enemy here and one enemy sort of almost in a straight line behind it, and then you try to get that to or you try to make a zip line so that you ride on it, right? And then you're still using the grazing and you're still doing the uh, the uh, lance shots, right? Then after that, there's a more mechanics of uh, immunity happens, right? So there's these orbs that you can pick up, and as you pick up an orb, you become immune, and you can just ride through everything, right? So then there's tons of stuff going on because you can be immune at all times, right? Then it changes up again so that there becomes two polarities of immunity. So there's two colors of enemies in the game at all times. You can be immune to only one of them. And then it changes it up even more where if you're immune to an enemy and you run into it, it extends the length uh, for how long you're immune. So if you're immune to orange, for example, you can hit another orange and become you know, immune longer, run into another orange and become immune longer, but if you run into a green, you lose your immunity. And yeah, so it's just a constant evolution of uh, insane mechanics. Sounds overwhelming. It's I not. Realize. It's not. Uh, you know, it starts out very slow and then these mechanics are slowly introduced to the player until by the end you feel like you're in Tron or something like that. Yeah, it's a, it's a several hour game. All yeah. that happens over a long period of time. So, so it's important that people know it. Obviously music is a big part of Dyad, Yes. but not a rhythm game. No, it's not a rhythm game. Um, rhythm games, I mean, I don't know exactly what quantifies a rhythm game, but to me it seems like, in a rhythm game at least, there's a preset soundtrack and you're supposed to react to that soundtrack, right? Uh, Dyad is not like that at all. Dyad is everything you do makes music. So if you hook onto an enemy, it maybe it changes the key in some levels. Uh, maybe it plays a sound effect. If you graze an enemy, maybe it plays a sound effect or it changes the key again, right? Like so, there's a whole bunch of different things happening in the music. Every level has you know, hundred maybe different loops, three to five seconds long, and they're constantly changing which loop is playing, right? And it's it's layering thirty to sixty sounds at all times. So as you play. Everything, all the mechanics are tied into basically a dynamic mixing board. So there's like some one-off sound effect sounds too, right? But they're all tied in with the music. And then everything you do changes the mix of the music in real time. So basically it's like an action, almost racing game, but with a badass soundtrack that reacts to what you're doing. Yes. Okay, I, that's an acceptable way to describe it. I don't want to... I, I have a really hard time describing the game. It's almost like an undescribable game that makes no sense until you play it. And yeah. then when you play it, it's like, oh, this is actually not as insane as it you know, sounds and looks. But yeah, that'll work. Perfect. Well, hopefully you got a sense as to how to play Dyad. Obviously, we're all looking forward to it. When can people play it? Uh, this summer, two or three months. Awesome. Very soon. Perfect PS3. Nice.
Thanks, Sean. Thank you very much.